Abby, you want to come see if there's any fish in the, in the brook? Want to come see them? Come on, let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I don't have much time here. I'm actually dodging some uh, big raindrops actually from the tree. We have to find my minnow trap. I think it's in the shed somewhere. Because we are going to try to find either more different species or get more of the same species from my creek and stock my pond in my backyard. The first thing actually I need to do is to get more yarn to get make this a little bit longer. And uh, so it doesn't fall in and, you know, I lose my minnow trap. Now over here, my mom keeps all of her yarn, so I have a pretty good selection of what to use. I think I'm going to tie on this green. Probably a knife would be better. And two hands. Got the yarn. Let's tie this up first and then get some bait for it. Now, I wanted to I want to say welcome back to all the new subscribers that I just recently got from actually my other um, minnow trap video. Uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys stick around. I that video got so much. I don't know why, but YouTube kind of just like wanted it on the act or like made it like popular or something. I don't know, like just requested it for everyone and it blew up over the past couple days. So, um, I'm guessing you guys, all these new subscribers, and my other ones too, my other subscribers, they do like these videos, so I'm going to make a lot more of them. I know I've been kind of slacking on the pond update videos, but if I catch something in this video, I will make a pond update video as well. Uh, this is day one. I'm just throwing this into the river, and I'm going to, or river, it's more like a little creek, and I'm going to check up on it tomorrow, but... So I got myself just a little hamburger bun and a little piece of ham. I know there's a bunch of pickerel actually in this little creek, so I don't know if the ham will attract them. I know they like bread, but I'm just going to throw a little bit of ham in there as well just to um, give them a little bit of a choice to eat. So I'm going to go ahead, break this up, and uh, bring you guys right on over to the creek. Here we are. Let's bring her down to the creek. Now we just got to tie this to somewhere. Um, and there it is. All I did was just stuck a stick on the ground, tied the yarn to it, and the yard fiend the yarn feeds right into the minnow trap, which is right there. If this doesn't work today, I'm going to check it tomorrow, then I'm going to move it to the other side. I want to see if I can get any shots for you over there, because I know yesterday I saw there was a pickerel there. So let's go across the street here. The stream runs right across the street. I live right there. And I'll show you on the other side real quick. Now the other side of the brook, we are just right over here. The other side of the brook is right here. But before I make this intro part too long, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna pick up the camera again tomorrow when I go over here. If there's no fish in it, we're gonna move it to this side. And uh, that's pretty much what's gonna happen. Cross our fingers that we catch something. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is the next day, kinda chilly. High 50s, low 60s. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm about to go out fishing. I just wanted to go ahead and check up on that minnow trap that I set down yesterday and let's see if we have anything in it fingers crossed that we got something because I haven't been seeing much action in it lately usually when I would walk by I'd see some uh, swimming around but not too much action lately so just overnight it literally got to chocolate milk we are dealing with chocolate milk so that could be better that could be better for us I'm not sure but uh, um, I guess we'll find out. I'm bringing it over across the street. 
because that's where I've been seeing a few. Uh, I don't know if they're common minnows or pickerel. They're uh, a little bit too small to tell, but I'll take either one. Pickerel, I won't take after a certain size because I don't want them to eat all the fish in my pond. So if they're small, I'll definitely take it. But man, this is some serious chocolate milk. It's not that deep here. It's the deepest bend that we have, besides obviously the one across the street. But this is the deepest part. It's a little bit coming up. But there have been fish in here in the past. The next day. Let's hope that there is something in this minnow trap. We have, it's rainy, kind of rainy again today, but the water's clear, so we'll be able to see if there's actually anything around it or in it. Let's check it out. I don't see any movement. Oh wait, wait a second. There might be something in there. Guys, we have something in there. Oh yeah. Yep, we got some fish. What do we have is the question. Let's find out. Oh. I think we have a new species. Guys, we have a new species. Maybe? What the heck is that? Let me identify this if this is a pickerel, like a young pickerel that doesn't have his colors yet, or some sort of, like, I don't even know. But look at the colors on that thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run this across the street and put it in my pond real quick. All right, guys, I got it in, uh, this little bowl for now. Hopefully he doesn't jump out. But, I mean, I don't want to sound stupid, but this kind of looks like a pike. Let's take a look outside. Hopefully this guy doesn't jump out. Please don't jump out. Pickerel. It's a pickerel? It's, it's gray, though. It's just young. So, this is the fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. So I guess it is just a young pickerel doesn't have its color yet, his green color. Well, he has a, actually now that I look at it, his back is a little bit green. He is right on the edge of the size limit I would put for a pickerel in the pond, but I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there because I have another pickerel in there. I'm sure he wants another friend. Let's go ahead. There he, he's still not going in yet. There we go. 